Hi there. In this video, I'm just going to very quickly talk about slope and aspect. Uh, there's some tools in both 3D Analyst and Spatial Analyst, which make it all very easy and generate rasters for you. And from there, you can go on to do other analysis, uh, such as correlating those rasters with vectors and that sort of thing. And I will be doing that in, a, in, an, in another video. Uh, so here we have, um, this is the Esri hybrid imagery layer. I've actually turned off imagery at the moment, but there it is. So around the sort of Austria area, as you can see. Um, let's turn that off for a moment. So that's where we are in the world. Uh, this is SRTM, the um, TIFF file, or well, one of them, the shuttle uh, data. So what I'd like to know is sort of what, what are the sort of steep areas? You know, just, just highlight those steep areas for me. Well, in the analysis, go to tools. Um, you can, we're working on slope, so type slope. Uh, and as you can see, it's come up with 3D analysis and spatial analysis. Yes, there are others, and we can, I'll probably talk about those another time, but we primarily want to get, okay, what's the steepness? Show me the areas of steepness. So it um, doesn't matter which one I click. Input raster is your main, this is the main SLTM one is the input. Then the output is it's automatically numbered that. I've done this a few times. Um, the output measurement, degree or percentage rise. So degree by default, but percentage uh, rise. So that's the idea of, um, so the degrees will be 0 to 90 and the percentage rise will be flat surfaces is 0% and 45 degree will be 100% and then you, you, you go up from there as you, as you, as you get steeper. Uh, I'll just leave it as planar um, in terms of uh, rather than geodesic. Um, if for, for greater accuracy, you really ought to, you know, it will take meters by default, but but you need to sort of make sure you know what data you've got, and therefore what z factor will be applied. Um, so it'll probably give me a warning, but I'm not not too bothered about that. I just want to show the steepness. Okay, so here you can see it's created my uh, slope. Um, let's turn off the SLT underneath. Um, it's created my slope raster. Uh, as expected it's got a warning and it will be about the, yeah, the, the, the um, units uh, not properly defined um, but, but, but that's okay for this for this, these purposes. I'm only working in, in this uh, in this single sort of tile in this single extent so uh, I just want to know what the steepest areas are inside this. So you can see as I zoom in here you get um, uh, dark color classification, dark symb symbology for the steeper areas and lighter for the um, flat or not so steep. So that makes sense. That looks good. Uh, so, so there you go. That, that is your, your, your slope calculation. But what about the direction of the slope? What I'd like to do is, um, is, is actually uh, create an aspect raster data set on top of this so I can see which uh, direction the slopes uh, are pointing um, so in the tools aspect search click on aspect the input raster is the SRTM so that's the main SRTM and um, we will uh, just again just go with plain art and run it so it is now finished and it will draw, there you go, uh, a very garish um, uh, aspect uh, raster, uh, very garish indeed. There's default classifications there that it's just default colours, uh, symbology, and um, let's just zoom in a bit. So you can see that uh, f from, uh, let's say, the, uh, the this sort of light, the cyan, this light bluish colour, um, it's very south, so that's what you can see that. That's all the southern facing stuff. So you might be looking at some kind of solar implementations, technology implementation or something. Um, but, but you know, there's lots of reasons where you may want to know this. But, but also, because it's just a straightforward um, symbology um, classification, you can, you, you can do whatever you like to all of these colors, etc. You don't have to um, go with there you go so but you'd be better off really trying to create a, a lot of individuality you know to, to those colors because because uh, then they, they stand out a lot better so ie you know something like 
space it random or something. So you see, you get a much, much greater uh, difference in, 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 in uh, colors. Um, and in there, you can see exactly what you're getting. And then um, you can correlate all the other data on top. What I might do actually is uh, turn some of these off. I could do some raster calculator stuff here as well, actually. So let's say I'm only fussed about southeast for whatever reason. And I'll just very quickly turn these off. Um, and yeah, I'll turn that one off as well, I think. So I just left with southeast. There you go. So now we've got just southeast facing slopes um, in, in that area. Uh, and underneath, we can see the darker um, steepness value uh, there as well. So as you can see, we could then go off and do all sorts of analysis. And in fact, in my, in, in my uh, next video that's coming up shortly, uh, I'm going to be doing a um, bit, bit, bit more analysis using this exact data um, and sort of extracting data onto vectors and, and things like that, gradients of road networks. So um, anyway, I hope you find that useful. It's dead easy for slope and aspect calculations. Uh, just type them in geoprocessing under analysis tools, geoprocessing, find them, run them, only a few settings needed, and then off you go. I hope you find that useful. Thank you.